will receive the opening kickoff. Now, please rise as the Daniel Boone High School Marching Band plays our alma mater. Please remain standing and gentlemen, remove your caps as we honor our nation, our flag, and our veterans with the playing of the national anthem. Once again, tonight's contest will be officiated by the field judge, Danny Dominguez, the side judge, Greg Fisher, the line judge, Ryan Barty, the head linesman, Harold Brennan, the umpire, Josh Alwin, and your referee for tonight's contest is Joe Yetter. Kicking off tonight's contest for the Bears will be number 18, Galen Fuge. Back to return for your Blazers, number 11, Max Hepner, and number 5, Freddie Lacey.
Flag will be thrown as the kickoff goes out of bounds at the eight yard line. It'll be first and 10 for your Tazers on their own 35 yard line. Number 18, Hayden Border on the carry for your places. Tackle made by number 51, Andrew Cuyata. Gain of two on that carry will bring up second and eight for your places. There's a fumble on the play, recovered by the Bears. On the recovery for Elizabeth Town, number 21, Isaiah Stamen. Kaufman is brought down in the backfield by number 71, Jordan Meyer. Loss of four on that play will bring up second and 14 for the Bears. Kaufman's pass was intended for number five, Alexis Cintron. Falls incomplete, will bring up third down for the Bears. Trent Kaufman's pass was intended for number 17, Avery Gotcha. Ball's incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth down for Elizabeth Town. Kaufman's pass was intended for number 17, Avery Gotcha. Falls incomplete. There is a flag on the field. 
The pass interference against the Blazers. That penalty will give the Bears a first down. Ball will be spotted on the Blazer 27 yard line. by number 71, Jordan Meyer, but there is a flag on the field. Face mask on defense. It's on us. Be a personal foul face mask penalty against the Blazers. And that will give the Bears another first down. Zach Steffi on the carry for the Bears. Tackle made by number 18, Hayden Moore. Short gain on that play. He's second and nine for Elizabeth Town. The holding against Elizabeth Town. Penalty will back the Bears up to the Blazer 23 yard line. Complete to number 13, Jake Engel. Tackle made by number 20, Ryan Poor. They'll bring up third and six for the Bears. Taken by Elizabeth Town. Yeah. 
Time out taken again by Elizabeth Town. Back to return number 18, Caleb Cooge's kick. Number 11, Max Hefner, and number 5, Fred Lacey. Lacey on the return for the Blazers. He gets it out to about the 22-yard line. He'll be first and 10 for your Blazers. Dirty 
It's going to be a personal foul against Elizabeth Town. And that 15 yard penalty will place the ball on the 50 yard line, first and, down, first and 10 for the Blazers. Number 18, Hayden Moyer on the carry for the Blazers. Tackle made by number 30, Brody Yawn. Ball will be spotted on the 36 yard line. Second half, Blazers. Penalty will be against the Blazers. The ball will be placed on the Elizabeth Town 42 yard line. Rodgers' pass is complete to number one, Anthony High. And it will be good for first a down. first down. That tackle was made by number 12, two hits.
And he gets down to the Elizabeth Town six yard line. First and goal for your Blazers. Takes it into the end zone, but there's a flag in the field. That'll be a chop block against the Blazers. First and goal for your Blazers from the Elizabeth Town 21 yard line. Come on, Boo, get him back! <laughs> <laughs> Justin Adikas is in the kickoff for your Blazers. Back to return for the Bears, number two, Saquon Shakespeare. Turn for the Bears. Finally brought down by number seven, Gavin Welker. The ball will be placed on the Bears 21 yard line. First and 10, Elizabeth Town. Thank <laughs> you. 
Number 28, Brady Morin on the carry for the Bears. Tackle made by Brady Boone, Hayden Morin. No gain on the play. will bring up second and ten for the Bears. Come on, Bears! Number five, Alexis Sintron on the carry for the Bears. Cooper's out of bounds by number 11, Max Hefner. The ball will be spotted on the Bears' 25-yard line. It'll bring up a long third and six for the Bears. Falls incomplete under the pressure of number 71, Jordan Meyer, and it'll bring up fourth down for the Bears. Back to return the punt will be number 11, Max Effner. Don't forget to get your 50-50 tickets. They are coming around. Look for the green sign. Team Bercy's punt is down on the 47-yard line where your Blazers will begin first and 10. is complete to number one, Anthony Hyde. Gain about one on that play. It'll be second and nine for your Blazers. Yeah. 
ball will be spotted on the 14 yard line. First and 10 for your Blazers. Time out, Daniel Boone. Hey, let's take this time to meet the cheerleaders tonight. We have Abigail Belt, Jada Gray, Nicolette Hirschman, Ashley Holtkamp, Charisma Illigash, Cadence Johnson, Cecilia Clementis, Jersey Missouri Smith, Amelia Miller, McKenna Murray, Elizabeth O'Donnell, Isis Ortiz, Grace Oxenford, Jordan Palladino, Alice Palumbo, Gabrielle Unruh, Lillian Unruh, Zoe Walt, and your captains, Madeline Guthrie and Lila Harold. Number 18, Hayden Moore on the carry for the Blazers. Tackle made by number 12, Drew Hicks. Ball will be spotted on the nine yard line. Second and five for your Blazers. Aiden Moyer on the carry again for the Blazers. He'll pick up a couple yards. The ball will be spotted on the seven-yard line. Come on, Boone! Third and three for your Blazers. Attempt is blocked by number 51, Andrew Kugata. <laughs> and with 201 remaining in the first quarter, the score is Danny Boone 13, Elizabeth Brown 7. Back to return of Duke, this is kickoff will be number two, Saquon Shakespeare. Hey, tonight's middle school band night. Please welcome our middle school band as they're over here with the high school band, bringing you music and entertainment for tonight's game.
Shakespeare on the return for the Bears. Tackle made by number 25, Bradley Florio. <laughs> the Bears will begin in their own territory at the 31 yard line. Second and 11 for Elizabeth Town. Here we go, G! Keeper for the Bears. Awesome. Tackle made by number 56, Zion Samuel. Hey, nice Lost the yard on the play. We'll bring up third and 12 for Elizabeth Town. It'll be third and seven for the Bears. If anybody is missing an item that they may have left in the restroom, please come up to the press box. We have it. If you can identify what it is, we will return it to you. is complete to number five, Alexis Cintron, and it will be good for a pair of first down.
It'll be first and 10 for the Barrels of their own 43-yard line. Huber's pass was intended for number five, Alexis Cintron, but it was broken up by number seven, Gavin Welker. No bring up fourth down for the Bears. Fourth and 14, and the Bears are going to go for it. Delay a game against Elizabethtown. complete to number two, Saquon Shakespeare. There was a fumble on the play, but there is a huddle by the officials. First and 10 for your Blazers on their own 32 yard line. Rodder's pass is complete to number 11, Max Hector. Eight yard gain on that play will bring up second and two for the Blazers. Yeah. 
Lotter's pass is complete again to number 11, Max Hefner. It will be good for a Blazer first down. Pass is complete to number one, Anthony High. Ball will be spotted on the Elizabeth Town 49 yard line. They'll bring up second and three for your Blazers. Up about a yard. Tackle made by number 30, Cody Long. They'll bring up 32, Cody Pazer. by Brody Yawn and Drew Hicks. Gate of two on that carry will bring up second and eight for the Blazers. Rotter is sacked in the backfield by number 20, Hayden Kidner. Big loss on that play will bring up third and 18 for the Blazers. Back to punt for the Blazers, number 11, Max Hefner. And his punt goes out of bounds at about the 32-yard line. 
Where the Bears will begin first and ten. Back in at quarterback for the Bears, number eight, Trent Kaufman. This pass is complete to number five, Alexis Cintron. Gain of about three on that play will bring up second and seven for the Bears. Take number 18, David Cooch. will kick off for the Bears. Back for your Blazers, number 11, Max Hector, and number 5, Freddie Lacey. Kick is returned by number 20, Ryan Corp. 
Your Blazers will begin on their own 30-yard line. by number 51, Andrew Criada. No gain on the play, second and 10 for the Blazers. Back in the backfield by number one, Ian Grossi. Ball will be spotted on the Blazer 25 yard line. Spot the ball on the Blazer 40 yard line and give your Blazers an automatic first down. Pass is complete to number one, Anthony High. Tackle made by number 12, Drew Hicks. Ball will be spotted on the Bears' 31 yard line. First and 10 for your Blazers. Thank 
Five, Freddie Lacey on the carry, tackle made. Tackle made by number 15, Anthony Ray. Gain of eight on that carry, second and two for your Blazers. Pass is complete for number one, Anthony Hyde. The cor correction, number 11, Max Hefner. There is a flag on the field. Holding against your Blazers. Back your Blazers up to the 33 yard line. Oh, boom, get it back! They bring up second and 12 for the Blazers. Scepter falls incomplete and it's going to bring up fourth down for your Blazers. In the punt for your Blazers, number 11, Max Scepter. Back to return for the Bears, number five, Alexis Cintron. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. First and ten for the Bears from their own twenty yard line. For number seven, Kyle Capello. Falls incomplete. Bring up second and ten for the Bears. Run! 
one again. Get him. Again for the Bears. He will pick up a first down. Ball will be spotted on their own 46 yard line. His pass was intended for number seven, Kyle Capello. Falls incomplete. It'll be second and ten for the Bears. A couple scores from around the county. Warwick trails Exeter 14 to 7. And Wilson and Governor Mifflin are tied up at 15 apiece. Scores from around the area. Reading leads Cedar Crest 13 to nothing. Mannheim Central 21, Muhlenberg 0, Twin Valley 7, Salanco 7, and Conrad Weiser leads Burks Catholic 12 to 7. There's a fumble on the play, but the clock expires, and at the end of the first half, the score is Elizabeth Town 13, your Blazers 13. Please stand by for halftime entertainment brought to you by the Elizabeth Town High School Marching Band.
Hey, we have your 50-50 ticket winner. You will be taking home $162. Collect it up here outside the booth. If you have the winning ticket, 840-6918. You're the winner of $162. Come up to the outside of the press box to call what you're winning. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to halftime here at Brzezinski Stadium at Daniel Green High School, where it's a wonderful night for football and a beautiful night to hang out with our partners in the largest distance between any two sets of opponents in the Lancaster Semi-League Football League. They traveled far to get here, so please welcome on the field the 2023-2024 edition of the Elizabeth Town Area High School Marching Band. <laughs> This year's show is played and lift me up and was created by sophomore Mel Williams. The contains songs that are meant to put you in a positive, uplifting mood. The show opens with Emmy Lovato's Grammy nominated song, Confident. Up next is the Sir Elton John Chart Topper, I'm Still Standing. Nina is going to the nice Cook Woman, which opens with a trumpet solo performed tonight by senior Nathan Merlot. The show wraps up with Queen's increasingly popular tune, Don't Stop Me Now. Our band is led by director Kristen Novak, assistant director Zippel Anderson, percussion instructor Glenn Mess, color guard instructor James Barrett, and major ed instructor Heather Arxo. Drum majors, Noah Williams, Sophie Schaefer, and Mackenzie McPeters. Is your band ready? Elizabeth Town Area High School Marching Band, please don't stop now.
Mr. Martin Brown, we also thank the district and Mr. Administrators, school board, and their parents for their support and their continued pursuit of useful lessons. Go Bears!
like, by the way. I saw you. You were wearing a helmet. Let's hear it for your Dandaboon Cowgirl Cheerleaders.
The first half stats for your Blazer, Dean Rodder was 13 for 15 with 167 yards passing and two touchdowns. Both of them caught by Anthony Hyde. And your leading rusher was Aiden Moyer on six attempts for 23 yards. Kicking off the second half will be number eight, Justin Adukas. Back to return that kick for the Bears will be number two, Saquon Shakespeare. Saquon Shakespeare on the return. He gets it out to about the 45 yard line. There is a flag on the field back at the 20. That 10 yard penalty will back the Bears up to their own 10. First and 10 for Elizabeth Town. Toby Hunter High. Toby Hunter High. Come up to the press box. We have your driver's license and your wallet. Number 28, Brady, excuse me, number 28, Brady Moran on the carry for the Bears. Max Hefner on the tackle for the Blazers. There is a flag on the field. All star penalty against the Bears. Five-yard penalty will back the Bears up to their own five-yard line. It'll be first and 15 for Elizabethtown. Come on, D! Safety! Complete number seven, Kyle Capello. He was tackled by number six, Darius Cruz. Come on, defense! They will be first and ten for the Bears on their own twenty-two yard line. Thank you. 
Kaufman takes the low snap, and he's sacked in the backfield by number 45, Jaden Salata, along with number 55, George Pingerone. They'll bring up second and 17 for the Bears. Time out, Elizabethtown. Once again, Toby Hunter High. Toby Hunter High. Please come up to the press box. We have your driver's license and as well as your wallet. Kaufman's pass is complete to number five, Alexis Sintron. He gets out to the 31-yard line, just short of a first down. It'll be third and one for the Bears. Come on, defense! Go Roy! Kaufman on the scramble, finally brought down by number one, Anthony High. Loss of about five on that play. He'll bring up fourth and six for the Bears. intercepted by number 18, Hayden Mortar, but the Blazers will take over on downs. It'll be first and 10 for your Blazers from the Bears 27 yard line. Pass is complete. The number 11, Max Hector, will be good for his laser first down. It'll be first and goal for Daniel Boone from the Bears' nine yard line. Rodgers' pass was intended 
for number 11, Max Hefner. Broken up by number two, Saquon Shakespeare. He'll bring up second and goal for the Blazers. Gary for the Blazers, and he's immediately brought down at the line of scrimmage by number 20, Hayden Haver. They'll bring up third and goal for Daniel Boone. Marauder scrambles around the right side. He's chased out of bounds by number 12, Drew Hits. It's going to bring up fourth down for your Blazers. The 27 yard field goal attempt by number eight, Justin Adukis. Turn the kickoff for the Bears, number two, Saquon Shakespeare. Dukas' kick is a touchback, and the Bears will begin first and ten on their own 20-yard line.
Trent Kaufman takes it around the left side. Picks up about four yards. It'll be second and six for the Bears. Bunch of blazers in the backfield. Loss of about two yards will bring up third and seven for the Bears. is broken up by number 55, George Pingarello. He'll bring up fourth down for the Bears. In the punt for Elizabeth Town is number one, Ian Brosey. Back to return for your Blazers, number 11, Max Hefner. Delay a game penalty against the Bears. Calls for the fair catch. The ball will be spotted on the Bears' 45 yard line. First and 10 for your Blazers. Hayden Moyer on the carry for the Blazers. Tackle made by number 20, Hayden Haver. Loss of a yard on that play will be second and 11 for the Blazers. to Hayden Moyer, but there is a flag on the field. <laughs> Penalty is against Daniel Boone for a block in the back. 
Well, now they back them up into their own territory at the 35-yard line. Second and 20 for the Blazers. Team Rodgers' pass is complete to number one, Anthony High. And he will be close to the first down marker. Oh, uh, I don't know if we give it to him. Oh, uh, we can bring the chains out. And they are moving the chains. First down, down the move. by number 56, Chris Valpe. They'll bring up second and 15 for the Blazers. Rodgers' pass is almost intercepted by number two, Saquon Shakespeare. Falls incomplete to bring up third down. Third and 15 for your Blazers from the Bears' 40-yard line. Ball will be placed about the eight yard line. It'll be first and goal for your Blazers. We do have an injured player on the field. Thank you. 
Your Ranger player is number 11, Max Hefner. Keep the update on some scores from around the league. Wilson leads Governor Mifflin 21 14 in the fourth quarter. Cedar Crest 36, Reading High 0 in the fourth quarter. Exeter 21, Warwick 7 in the third quarter. Mannheim Central 21, Muhlenberg 0 at halftime. Twin Valley 21, Salanco 20 in the third quarter. First Catholic 15, Comrade Weiser 12 in the third quarter. Lancaster Catholic 26, oh, Andrew 3 at halftime. Cookstown 34, Andrew Cleona 27 in the third quarter. And Northern Lebanon trails Triple Valley 7 to nothing. The Riders pass is complete to number one, Anthony High. Tackle made by number two, Saquon Shakespeare. Second and goal from the five yard line. Rodgers' pass was intended for number seven, Gavin Welker. Broken up by number 13, Jacob Engel. He'll bring up third and goal for your Blazers. On the Bears, five yard line. Sack in the backfield by number seven, Saquon Shakespeare. He'll bring up fourth and goal for the Blazers. Rodder is chased out of bounds by number nine, Zach Steffi. There is a flag over here. Oh. Holding against Danny Boone. <laughs> Elizabeth Town has declined the penalty and they will take over on downs. Seven Kyle Capello on the carry for the Bears. He'll get the ball out to about the 24 yard line and pick up a Bears first down.
Hoffman's pass was intended for number five, Alexis Cintron, falls incomplete. It'll be second and ten for the Bears. For number 17, Avery Katja. Falls incomplete. It's going to bring up third down for the Bears. Penalty will back the Bears up to their own 19 yard line. Third and 15 for the Bears. Number five, Alex Cintron. He was hurried and pressured by number 71, Jordan Meyer, and the pass falls incomplete and will bring up fourth down for the Bears. In the punt, number one, Ian Brosi. Back to return for your Blazers, number 11, Max Hefner. on the Bears 46 yard line first and 10 for the Blazers Is intercepted by number two, Saquon Shakespeare. And he'll return that interception to about the 40 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Bears. Seven Kyle Capello on the carry for the Bears. 
Tackled by number 55, George Pinarone. Eight of two on that run. Second and eight for the Bears. And that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Down to three and 16. Elizabeth Town, 13. Hey, focus your attention down here to the track in front of the home grandstands as Daniel Green is taking on several students in a horse race. I believe there's a false start penalty called on Daniel Green. Braden Huber's pass is complete to number five, Alexis Sintron. Gain of about five on that catch. It'll be third and five for the Bears. From their own 35 yard line. Huber's pass is complete to number seven, Kyle Capello. Gain of about three. He'll bring up fourth and two for the Bears. on the play, encroachment on Daniel Boone. That penalty will give the Bears a first down. But will be spotted on the Blazer 47-yard line. Pass was intended for number two, Saquon Shakespeare, falls incomplete. Second and ten for the Bears. Huber's pass was intended for number 17, Avery Paccia, but it was broken up by number 6, Darius Cruz. They'll bring up third and 10 for the Bears from their from the Blazer 47-yard line.
Huber's pass was intended again for number 17, Avery Katja. Ball's incomplete. Fourth and ten for the Bears. Back in the backfield by number 71, Jordan Meyer. And your boys is going to take over on downs. Keeper for the ball, he will pick up about a yard. We'll be second and nine for Daddy Boone. Joe DiGiacomo, falls incomplete, will bring up 39 for the Joseph. Hey, don't forget that your Blazers are back home again here next Friday at Brzezinski Stadium, and they will take on the Penn Manor Comets. Game time, 7 p.m. Rodgers' pass was intended for number one, Anthony Hyde. Ball's incomplete, and it's going to bring up fourth down for the Blazers. Thank <laughs> you. 
Running the football for the Blazers, number 45, Jamie Salata. And the ball is down at the one yard line by number seven, Gavin Walker. It'll be first and ten for the Bears inside the one. was intended for number 17, Avery Kopcha, falls incomplete, second and 10 for the Bears. Was intended for number seven, Kyle Capello. Incomplete. They'll bring up third down for the Bears. Pass is complete for number 17, Avery Kopcha. And that will be good for the Bears' first down. The ball will be spotted on the Bears' 49 yard line. First and 10, Elizabethtown. Intended for number five, Alexis Suchon. Falls incomplete. Will be second and ten for the Bears.
Pass is complete for number five, Alexis Sutron. There is a flag on the field. Yes. Let's get back. 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 From the Blazers, 16 yard line. This pass is intended for number seven, Kyle Capello. Falls incomplete. It'll bring up fourth down for the Bears. In for the field goal attempt. Number 18, Caleb Cruz. Yeah. 
And the 30 yard field goal attack is good. And with 7 5 remaining in this contest, the score is tied up. Elizabeth Town 16, Daniel Boone 16. Back to return the kickoff will be number seven, Gavin Walker, and number five, Freddie Lacey. Gets it out to the 21 yard line. First thing, Ted, before your pages. There's an injured player on the field. The injured player was number 37, Trenton Couch. Come on, Blue! Step off! First and ten for your baby. Rodgers Harris is going to leap to number one, Anthony Howe. He fights his way down to about the 32 yard line. Will be good for a Blazer first down. Pass was intended for number one, Anthony High, but broken up by number two, Saquon Shakespeare. It'll be second and ten for the Blazers. Pass is complete for number one, Anthony Hyde. There's a flag in the field. Oh, man! Come on! 
on the downfield against the Blazers. That penalty will back the Blazers up to their own 27 yard line. Second and 15 for the Blazers. The Marauder is sacked in the backfield by number 20, Hayden Haver. Going to bring up third and long for the Blazers. Rodgers' pass falls incomplete. It was intended for number 11, Max Hefner. Second and 10 for your Blazers. is incomplete for the ring up third down for the Blazers. Intended for number one, Anthony High falls in complete. Fourth and ten for your Blazers. Then the punt for the Blazers, number 45, Jaden Salata. Back to return for the Bears, number five, Alexis Cintron. <laughs> Salada's punt goes out of bounds at the 24 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Bears. Thank 
Pass is complete to number 28, Brady Moran. Tackle made by number one, Anthony High. Gain of about six on that play. It will be second and four for the Bears. Yeah. Hey, let's have a round of applause for that Daniel Green drum line over there. is incomplete. There's a flag on the field. That 10-yard penalty will make it first and 20 for your Blazers from their own 42-yard line. Come on, boys. Let's go kill 
And a 15 yard penalty will move your Blazers into their territory down to the 30 four yard line. First and 10 Blazers. Pass is intended for number one, Anthony High, falls incomplete. It'll be second and ten for your closer. Marauders pass is complete to number 18, Hayden Moore. Gain of about two, it'll bring up third and eight for your Blazers. Down and bring up fourth down for the Blazers. Back to punt. Salata. Back to return for the Bears. Number two, Siquan Shakespeare. Fair catch is called, and the ball will be spotted about the 11 yard line. First and 10 for Elizabeth Town. Was intended for number seven, Kyle Capello. Falls incomplete. Second and ten for the Bears. Alexis 
They bring up third and inches for the Bears. Flag thrown on the field. It appears it's going to be a false start against Elizabeth Town. Two seconds will be placed on the clock after that penalty. It'll be 34. It'll be 35 for the Bears. Incomplete as it's tipped around by number seven, Gavin Loper, number five, Freddie Lacey. That's going to bring up fourth down for the Bears with 37 seconds remaining in regulation. Back to return the punt, number 12, Dean Rotter. In Bear territory, for your Blazers, first and 10, with 28 seconds remaining. Rodgers' pass falls incomplete. Broken up by a bunch of errors, led by number two, Saquon Shakespeare. It'll be second and ten for the Blazers. The Blazers. for the Blazers. And the regulation is going to expire with the score. Game of three, 16, Elizabeth Town, 16.
Out for the coin toss, number 71, Jordan Meyer. Elizabeth Pound has won the coin toss. The correction, Daniel Green has in the third. Yes! Yes, we the ball first. For the overtime, we'll consist of three overtime periods. The ball will be placed on the 10. The correction is until team scores. Until we have a winner. The ball will be placed on the 10-yard line. Sideline warning against Elizabeth Town. 